So when you normally play Jato, you probably either sit down at a desk, chill on your couch, or something along the lines of that. But today, I decided to play Jato at over 10,000 feet in the air, and I had only one goal. Beat the first ever tower in the game, the Tower of Heck. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, I have to play on mobile. I decided to start off with an extremely easy warm-up, but I somehow rage quit on floor 1. After sufficiently warming up for a solid like 30 seconds or so, I figured it was time to conquer the Tower of Heck. I really didn't know what to expect as I had never played on mobile before. As you can see, playing on mobile was pretty hard. I already failed floor 1, but eventually I made it to floor 2. Floor 2 went by pretty quickly, but when I got to this part, I had to decide if I wanted to take the shortcut or not. I chose not to and I continued on my run. At floor 3, I had my first of many fails in the video. And eventually, after more fails, I made it back up to the spot where I last failed. Only this time, I made it. After a few more easy jumps, I was on floor 4. Well, not for long. I then managed to get back there without failing, and the grind continued. So guys, before we continue with the video, I wanted to tell you guys about today's sponsor. You guys should totally check out this YouTube channel on the screen right now. They upload awesome JTO content, Teardobby content, and stuff like that, and seem to be aspiring to make their YouTube channel better every single day. A link to their channel will be in the description below, and you should totally check it out and subscribe. Now back to the video. At this point, I was almost at floor 5, and I happened to make it there pretty easily. After doing some more hard jumps, I made it to this point, and I even did the skip. Sometimes I even fail that skip on PC. Unfortunately, shortly after I did the skip, this happened. It took me, and no I'm not exaggerating, 30 whole minutes just to get back there. This meant that I only had around 30 minutes left before the flight landed, so I needed to hurry. Fortunately this time I did it, and now I was on floor 6. Floor 6 went by pretty smoothly, and I got to the very end of the floor. Unfortunately though, I didn't get to the next floor, and I ended up failing a really easy jump. Shortly after, I failed this jump, so then I was back to floor 3 in a matter of seconds. At this point, there was 15 minutes left on the flight, so I knew it was now or never. I absolutely speed ran back up there, and I got to where I last fell in less than 5 minutes. This time I did the jump, and I made it up to floor 7. I did floor 7 pretty easily, and almost in no time, I was on floor 8. This floor would be troublesome though, as I had two tight ropes and an outside section. Here I approached the first tight rope, which was also the most punishing of the two. Surprisingly I did it, and I continued on to the outside section. On the outside section I approached my second tight rope, but I did it pretty easily. After that I did a few more simple jumps, and I was on floor 9. At this point I was only 2 floors away from winning, and I still had enough time to beat the tower. I was very confident through all of floor 9, and I eventually made it to floor 10. For floor 10, I'll just let you watch it for yourself. So unfortunately, as you can see, my plane did land and I did not have enough time to beat the Tower of Heck. Uh, but if you did enjoy this video, uh, please consider helping me out. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you have not already. And yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.